Welcome back to another episode of what used to be Wake Up and Live with Bob. Um, we are now uh, just simply Bob Montego. Um, I've returned to uh, my original name um, and this is my first video since that change so I just wanted to make sure you take note of that. Um, today we are going to revisit the issue of um, having your foreign born kids um, acquire their citizenship, uh, their citizenship of, um, of the country from which you're born, of course. So, uh, there are a number of countries, um, can't mention all of them, but, um, I'll just give you a quick, uh, rundown of a few countries that, um, if you are a citizen of that country and your kids are born, um, abroad, you can actually, um, filed for your for their dual citizenship and um, it is particularly particularly important at this time uh, given the conditions of uh, um, the rise of white nationalism and um, the Trumpism and uh, white supremacy and uh, um, right-wing conservatism and all the isms and schisms that um, actually going on currently in the United States um, so if you are a citizen of let's say Jamaica um, Barbados Trinidad um, Guyana uh, Bahamas um, or uh, I'll say um, Nigeria or Ghana and uh, they're quite a bit but I can't say all of them um, Please remember, if you actually have kids that are born, let's say, in the United States, uh, it is a it's it's important actually that you um, you give them. They they already are entitled to citizenship in um, in your country. Um, so please just go ahead process their citizenship um, paper. Most times it's a simple thing. I can't tell you all the different countries' um, requirements, but their basic requirements. Um, file their citizenship um, papers and um, make sure they get their passports. That additional passport has long been one of the privileges that many rich people in the United States, for example, have um, because there are a lot of countries around, um, you know, like in the Caribbean, lots of middle income countries in the, in the Caribbean where um, uh, U.S. Um, or foreigners can actually purchase citizenship if they have um, a minimum of 150,000 US dollars or so, they can actually purchase a citizenship if they're, they can show that they're gonna invest $150,000. Um, so that's one of the privileges that wealthier people generally have. But if you're an immigrant and you're a citizen of, uh, let's say the US, and you're, a citizen, and you're, you're obviously from another country, please go ahead and process that, um, that uh that dual citizenship um for your your kids that added passport is a very very powerful tool and most times you don't know that until you're actually abroad uh let's say you visit europe or asia and something happens you know you lose all your belongings or you ran into some trouble um you have an extra embassy that you can call on for support all right, so what I mean, dual citizenship, so you have two, two embassies at least that you can um, call on that will, um, that will come to your rescue and um, take care of situations for you, okay? So again, um, if you're born in, if you're an immigrant in the United States, um, there are many countries, check out the status of your country. Most countries will honor the dual citizenship. Um, I know Jamaica does. Um, you know, Guyana, Nigeria, Bahamas, um, um, you know, Trinidad, um, you know, lots of different uh, countries. All right, so um, just wanted to uh, just point that out, and I can't emphasize enough. Pay attention to what's happening in um, the news um, in the United States. Uh, you know, this divided America at some point is going to collide. And I do not think when they do collide, um, it is going to be a fun thing. Um, they are militias and different factions for years that have been 
piling up uh, weapons and preaching different violent ideologies um, that has been uh, setting the tone and the pace for a very long time uh, for uh, bad things to happen. And um, we've seen where uh, the former president has um, actually uh, ramped up anti-immigrant sentiments and uh, um, the xenophobia and uh, this kind of uh, racial and racism um, that is uh, pointing towards uh, bad things that can actually occur. All right, so secure your um, offsprings as best as possible with dual citizenship if you have that privilege as an immigrant because um, if push comes to shove, they either have somewhere to run to to or cool off or just different options, the same options that rich people in this country um, have been paying for for a long time, paying for their citizenship abroad. And for your kids, it could be just free. All right, so um, if I have left out any country and you do want to make mention of it, feel, feel free to um, drop a line and uh, let the viewers know that, um, hey, I'm from this country and my country allows um, dual citizenship too um, because it could just be helpful to someone who don't know. All right. Um, so thanks again for watching. Uh, Bob Montego, um, formerly Wake Up and Live with Bob. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Like, share, uh, click the notification bell and tell someone about us. Thanks again for watching.